Hey, Jeff with Digital Trends. We're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we've got an S Pen here. There's actually a slot for you to put it right in the device. And uh, they've got a new hovering capability that allows it to act kind of like a mouse. So you can actually hover over things. You can see, I don't know if you can see in the video, there's a little uh, cursor there to give you a lot more precision than uh, you usually get with touching. You can also do a multi-screen. So there's one of, uh, there's six different apps that work with this. You can kind of choose one or the other. I mean, I know you can use it. And you can have two things side by side, a little more like uh, Windows 8, Windows RT. We'll open up a document. So as you can see, you can have two things completely side by side. You can actually take pictures and move them over and do a lot of different uh, interaction. We'll. Uh, to pull this off here. <laughs> It'll actually work in landscape as well, or uh, portrait as well. And, uh, stick that in there. <laughs> All right. And uh, you can also do that. You can also pull up these uh, little mini apps. So you can actually have a lot of things open at the same time, kind of a new thing for Android. Typically before this, you haven't been able to have much open at all. Uh, so that's kind of a quick overview. There's a lot, uh, a lot more you can do. And this has a quad-core processor, a little speedier than previous Galaxy tabs. Show you a quick look at the apps menu there. And they also uh, improved the, uh, looks a little more like the uh, Galaxy S3 there. So this is the Galaxy Note 10.1, the new one. A little more improved from the, uh, from uh, Mobile World Congress, which is where we first saw it. You can see the uh, slot is uh, right there for the S Pen. Galaxy Note 10.1.